Hello and welcome to this episode of Leadership Guest Practices. My guest this week is Divya Prashanth, a leading global data scientist, consultant, media contributor, CEO and co-founder of My Social Pulse. Divya's passion lies in applying and unleashing the power of data and the latest technology such as AI, artificial intelligence, to solve real-world problems. In fact, during the pandemic, when a radical new approach was needed, Divya and her team put this into action by creating and developing platforms which enabled actionable research about large sections of the population to enable strategic and operational policies to be put in place and actioned exactly where they are required for the common good. This is done by listening to the social pulse and chatter on platforms such as Reddit, Twitter, Quora, Glassdoor and many more. In fact, whatever platforms are best for your industry, brand, story, need, problem or opportunity. It's a completely new approach to real-time immersive research. It's data-driven decision-making personified and provides granularity at organisational level right down to individuals. Everywhere, any platform, any time, with any objective in mind, from your research perspective. Let's hear more. Hello and welcome to this episode of Leadership Guest Practices and we've got a great one for you today. Divya, thanks very much for joining me. Thank you so much for having uh, me here, Jeremy. Uh, I'm uh, Divya Prashant. I'm the CEO and co-founder of My Social Pulse. We develop uh, a product based on AI and NLP. Uh, and specifically, I would be talking about the human experience um, uh, on this podcast. podcast. Uh, well, just to give you an understanding of what we do at My Social Pulse, My Social Pulse is a social intelligence platform that analyzes data from Twitter, Reddit, YouTube, various uh, review and survey sites, and our platform analyzes this data and provides you with insights and foresights into the customer's innermost feelings, emotions, and sentiment in real time. As one of our clients said in an article in Benzinga, My Social Pulse is Google Analytics and Steroids. Google Analytics on steroids. I absolutely love that. And the real time nature of it, I get it's very now. So Divya, as an expert, why should we be considering this brand new type of approach to strategic and operational research when we consider our businesses, functions and individuals, particularly around the hot topics of the moment? Yes, you know, just as you said, you know, most research is done with little or no understanding of the operations or the real, the reality at uh, grassroots levels. Um, and research methodologies has mostly been focused around surveys, interviews, and observation. And this takes a lot of time and effort. Uh, and then again, by the time they complete, they're partially outdated. Uh, so with the onset of COVID and, and the popularity of sites like Quora, Glassdoor, Twitter, and Reddit, people share all sorts of information and opinions in, in much detail um, and um, things like how they feel about various topics. And it's all very quite openly done and with no bias mostly. So it's key to listen into these conversations in real time to get a true view of what people are thinking about. It could be uh, customer feedback, our customer opinion, or it could be employee feedback or employee opinions, depending on what the organization is trying to achieve. Wow, I, I, I mean, I love that. And I, I, having, having done a lot of surveys and research uh, in my time, I totally get the fact that by the time you launch it, by the time I've written and got that, stopped procrastinating and written the white paper, it's like we could be months ahead and things could have changed. And when you've got the pulse going sort of daily on Reddit or Glassdoor or wherever you want. I can understand the power of that. So the key question I suppose is, is what does the social pulse platform do that changes the game when you compare that with traditional research so that you can fast track these immediate real time pieces of research? Yeah. Oh uh, yeah. So well, um, the, specifics out, the specific outputs of our approach uh, provide insight, but most importantly, foresight for businesses uh, to, to successfully transform within this ever-changing, fast-paced digital uh, environment. With the onset of uh, gig economy and uh, very temperamental customer loyalty, it's very critical to know in real time what people are thinking uh, and uh, feel it. And, and most importantly, to make those adjustments in real time. So uh, I can, I'll just take you through our tool, uh, but what you, 
you get is outputs that are um, that are real time and actionable insights uh, into stuff like you know emotional analysis, SWOT analysis, uh, customer experience, employee experience, uh, and and much more. So I'll just take you straight into a tool, and I'll give you a feel for um, how you can use uh, my social pulse, uh, the human the human experience. So if you were to just look at Twitter and probably look to analyze what people are feeling about a brand, it could be, say, Coca-Cola. So at this point in time, what the tool does is scan through millions of tweets. So again, the choice is left to the uh, organization or the uh, individual who's using the tool. They can analyze anything from Twitter, Quora, Reddit, uh, YouTube, to any tool of their, any uh, uh, digital website of their choice, basically. And within here, you can actually say that the, the tool has gone in and scanned a whole lot of information on the internet and it's trying to make uh, you know uh, useful bring out useful insights so if we go straight into into the social intelligence you can immediately see how people are feeling about the brand so there's a there's about 75 percent positivity and about uh, 25 percent negativity and these are all the emotions specific emotions felt by uh, people uh, about uh, coca-cola so there's a huge amount of trust but there's still you know, a substantial amount of fear. This could be a bit of a worry for a brand and you might want to deep dive and understand what these conversations are about. And actually you can do that with My Social Pulse. You can actually just click through and look at the conversations uh, around uh, the negativity. And uh, what, an, uh, what you can do as a, a, a marketing or, a me, or an advertising department is make real-time changes uh, from even being able to just click through and respond to a negative comment to making more strategic changes based on the feedback that you're getting from uh, the internet. Um, you can click through into specific conversations. So these are all the uh, top conversations that are emerging on Twitter. So you can actually click through into the conversations and see what they're about. So this is really I would be quite worried, you know, when I see a message like this, uh, if I was um, within the PR agency or the marketing agency within the organization. So this is where a tool like My Social Pulse comes in because you're seeing real time what people are feeling and thinking. And this is so important in, in this digital age, especially because it's so fast paced. And really now more than ever, uh, the only constant is change. And to keep up with that sort of fast moving um, uh, digital world, you need a tool such as this to be able to identify and analyze um, uh, people's thoughts and feelings uh, quite quickly to make those uh, changes or transformations in the business. I absolutely love looking at this. Maybe if you get, you know, it reminds me of Trivial Pursuit. That's uh, one of those little charts at the bottom there on the right that I see. Could you click on another one of those and let's see the comments, you know, the bigger one, that purple one, maybe. Yeah, let's look at the trust. Um... I love that, that you can just see in real time. Yeah. The, the sentiment out there, what people are chatting about. And these are real people. These are, yeah. these are people who will buy the product or not buy the product, right? Oh, absolutely, absolutely. So this is straight away kind of taking you into uh, what people are feeling uh, good about the product. So these are all positive, um, you know, uh, sort of uh, feelings about people. So you say, get out there and show your care about people. And, you know, it's Coca-Cola is being tagged, which which could be, mean that it's it's uh, um, somebody is being very positive about the brand, which is also good to know, as in you need to have a good mix. You need to know what are your strengths. So your, your trust and your anticipation and your uh, surprise could, could be looked at as strength, uh, while your fears and your... Um, Anger could be looked at as weakness and threat, and uh, which is so important as a business to know ahead 
as to where your threats and your where your strength where your threats and your where your strength lie, um, because you can make those real time uh, adjustments in the messaging of the of the brand, uh, and also internally, uh, you know, in terms of the employee culture as well. Wow, I I can understand why in this part we're talking about the human experience because there's so much rich data here, and I imagine there's so much here that the that the real the real task is to bring that down into what matters for that brand for their actions for moving forward. So, you know, we've talked about a lot and what it does, and maybe we can just summarize, pause, and summarize at this point, Divya, the benefits that can be derived by um, a brand, a department, whatever you want to say, you know, once they have the data? Uh, with the data, companies can start immediately making adjustments, you know, to operational and strategic policies, uh, understand and improve uh, customer journey, employee retention, because, I mean, employees actually are, uh, are quite important and they're really um, to kind of retain employees is, is such a challenge these days. So knowing what works for an employee is so important as well as as, as important as, a, as knowing what uh, it takes to retain a customer. So these are the things that you can kind of uh, quite immediately understand and um, bring about changes. You can do a deep dive into root cause analysis, identify cultural differences across geographies, uh, While well, with the tool, you can kind of listen into various geographies. So it's quite powerful in kind of identifying how um, an organization in an, in an X uh, geographic location is doing and thinking uh, uh, well compared to another, uh, uh, another maybe a branch in a, in a completely different uh, geographic location. And more importantly, it gives you an early warning into the threats and weaknesses uh, and you're able to capitalize on your strengths and opportunities. So that's really the benefit of the tool and all of this in real time, which is super powerful. Uh, and uh, you can kind of look at detailed information, you know, at any granularity. Then again, you can get a very high level overview as well. So that's super powerful with what we do at My Social Pulse. Wow, gosh, I, th there's so much that is whizzing through my head as well as you're talking here. And I love that uh, what you were talking about, the real time action. It's totally data driven. And it's very much now because speed is competitive advantage, as we know. Data driven decision making, speed because our you know, competitors around the corner, something is happening in a market that we need to respond to. And getting sentiments like this really make a difference. And particularly, I love the language around customer journeys, tracking that customer journey and even employee journeys here. So internally, externally, it can um, it can really help. Now, just to let everybody into a secret now, I've I've been through a, a research project with you very recently. I'm still going through the data coming from it, but I can say from experience, the richness of data is just astounding. And the challenge really is to say is where's the gold to to share? Um, so I think what's helpful from my from my perspective coming into this and for maybe others now who who are, we've piqued the interest of is to understand for those that are interested in a research project like this, Divya, what are the must do's up front that will accelerate success of the research itself, particularly the quality of outputs and how quickly you can get down to uh, understanding it and actioning it? Really good question, Jeremy. Uh, well, the key is to identify and define the problem statement, uh, as in when, where, and what is a problem that, is, that, that, uh, that an organization is looking to resolve. Um, the research um, should be geared not just for here and now, but for the next one to three years into the future. However, I guess the, the challenge is the rapidly changing digital world, and uh, one needs to constantly gather feedback to transform and keep up. And this is where, you know, the traditional methods just don't add up and you've got to look for other uh, ways of kind of doing your research. And so organizations should utilize AI-based research to keep up with the fast pace uh, of change, really. And this is where, you know, tools like My Social Pulse, uh, human experience comes into its own, I suppose. Yes, it certainly does. And that's what I loved about My Social Pulse. And 
what I also love was the the highly collaborative nature that that you guys brought to brought to it, almost helping me through the process because this was very new for me. I mean, I I'm an experienced researcher because that's how I that's how I adjust my products and services. It's how I consult with my clients and so on. But this was really quite different and really coming at it from the ground up emotional level has been completely eye-opening for me so how do other people get in touch with you to find out more and engage with my social pulse for their own businesses Divya so I mean if people are interested in doing research I mean they can just reach out to us uh, through our, our website uh, or uh, through, our, um, through mail that is info at my social pulse and we would love to have that initial discussion uh, we have also a form where you can enter your details and you can reach out to us. Um, so we would love to, uh, you know, uh, have that initial discussion, see how we can help. And in in 99% uh, of, of the times, I'm, I'm sure there's something that we can do uh, to support your business and transform your business. I'm sure there is. And for those of you who are watching while you're tuning in here, all of these details are on the screen. Just for those uh, those listening, uh, maybe Divya, can you just clarify in terms of the the email info at socialpulse dot info at mysocialpulse dot com. Great, so, and presumably the website is mysocialpulse dot com. Uh, the website is www dot mysocialpulse dot com, and the email is info at mysocialpulse dot com. Great. Well, you heard it here first, folks. Uh, Divya, thank you so much for taking us through that. I know it's very new. I know you're working on the AI engine all the time, but it is astounding what can be achieved from research like this. And, and I, I know this from intense personal experience through going through it now. So thank you so much for joining me and thank you for sharing. Thank you for having me, Jeremy. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. Take care. Thank you for joining our guest practices video cast. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel through the link below or check out our website to access more in our current series of expert interviews.